Hey guys, happy Tuesday. So uh, I am posting your last set of notes on Canvas today on the executive branch. So today you're gonna hear about state and local executive branch. Um, all of this is gonna be in studio on Canvas. So I will walk you through everything. I will have the PowerPoint up there and this will stay up there as long as you need it. Your notes template, if you want to print it and you have the ability to print it, is going to be in the module for this week. But if you can't print it, then just use a piece of notebook paper or whatever you have sitting around at home. I definitely recommend taking notes while you listen because it will help you to remember it. One more helpful little piece of information is that there will be hangout uh, conferences from 11 to 1130 if you're in honors and 1130 to 12 if you were C-level on Tuesdays and Fridays. All right, so we're going to hop right into it. So we are going to talk about state and local executive branch today. And I'm using my phone to record this so that I can piece each part of this video together for you. So ignore my um, really messy desk with my nail polish. All right, so the role of the Virginia executive branch. You guys should remember the role of the executive branch that's outlined in the U.S. Constitution when we were talking about national executive. So the role is the same at the Virginia level. Their job is to enforce state laws in Virginia. And the powers of the Virginia executive branch are given by the Virginia Constitution. The structure of the Virginia executive branch, it starts with the governor, who is the leader of the Virginia executive branch. So at the state level, it's kind of like the president and then the people that are under him. But of course, like I said, at the state level. So that picture right there, that's Ralph Northam. He is our current governor of Virginia. Under him is the lieutenant governor which is kind of like a vice president. And our current one is Justin Fairfax. And then we have the attorney general who is like a state lawyer. All right, so the governor of Virginia, his qualifications or her qualifications are, you have to be at least 30 years old a citizen of the U.S. and Virginia, registered to vote in Virginia five years before being elected, and your term is a four-year term. But there is no limit. You just can't serve consecutive terms. So Ralph Northam, at the end of this term, he will not run again until maybe another term after that, um, if that's a plan that he wants to uh, move forward with. He can't do eight years in a row. He can do four years, wait four years, and then be reelected. Roles of the Virginia governor. All right, so the roles of the Virginia governor. His first role is that he's chief of state. So he's the symbolic leader of Virginia. He is the chief legislator because he proposes legislative agendas for Virginia. He's the chief of party. He is the leader of the political party in Virginia. So we know that Ralph Northam is a Democrat. So that means that he is the political party leader of the Democratic Party in Virginia at this time. Chief executive. He's the head of the Virginia executive branch. Commander in chief. He's the leader of the Virginia National Guard. And chief citizen. He acts as a representative of all Virginians. Next up is the powers of the governor. So the governor has the ability to approve or veto bills passed by the Virginia General Assembly. He has the ability to appoint cabinet secretaries for the governor, not for the president. And he has the ability to grant state pardons. So here is Governor Northam. As I already said, his political party is the Democratic Party. He was elected in 2017. His term length is four years. And he was the lieutenant governor of Virginia prior to becoming governor. And before that, he was a doctor. 
If you'd like to contact him, the website is right here. Feel free to pause this video so that you can take the notes at any point and so that you can contact him if you feel like it's necessary. All right, your Lieutenant Governor of Virginia is Justin Fairfax. His political party is also the Democratic Party. He was elected in 2017. His term is also four years, and he was a lawyer before he became Lieutenant Governor. Once again, if you'd like to contact any of your representatives, there is the contact information for your Lieutenant Governor. Remember, you can pause this video at any time to take your notes or to get these contact emails. Last but not least is your Attorney General of Virginia. So this is Mark Herring. He is also a Democrat. He was elected in 2017. His term length is four years. And before he became the Attorney General, his former occupation was that he was a Virginia State Senator in the General Assembly, which you guys learned about when we talked about the state legislative branch. Here's his contact information. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up your notes. Remember, you can pause the video at any time that you need to. And if you guys have any questions, I'm going to set up a discussion under discussions on our Canvas page so that you can ask anything that you have a question on. Um, you also have the ability to talk to me during conferences from 11 to 11.30 for honors or 11.30 to 12 for C-level on Tuesdays and Fridays. So keep that in mind. Um, if you have questions about the notes that you'd like to have a one-on-one, -on -one, please let me know when you're available. I'm not allowed to take up any extra time from another teacher because remember, your teachers now have a schedule of when they can conference with you. So keep that in mind. I am available from 8 until 3 every single day. So whenever you need me, I'm here. It was great talking to you guys today, and I hope to see you on the live conference later on.